Welcome to Awake's Network. APC Crisis. You get deeper and deeper by the day. As Rotimi Amechi, three other ministers, top South South leaders, Governor Obaseke, perfect plan to ask the embattled APC chairman, Adam Soshomole. Before we go over to the details of this news, if this is your first time of visiting my channel, kindly hit on the red subscription button and don't forget to turn on your notification icon so you'll be informed whenever we make new uploads. Now the details of the news. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, Minister of State, Labor and Employment, Festus Kiyamu San, are among the top executives of the President Muhammad Buhari's cabinet that attended a meeting summoned by Governor Godwin Obaseke of Edo State to house the embattled chairman of the ruling of Progressive Congress APC, Comrade Adams Oshomole. The meeting, which held on Thursday night at Edo State Governor's Lodge in Asokoro, Abuja, also had Minister of Health Osage Ihanere and Minister of State of for Power Godi Jedi Agba in attendance. Yes, the, minister had, the, minute, the meeting held yesterday at the Edo State Governor's Lodge. Present at the meeting are four serving ministers, including other South South leaders, were present. Top on the agenda was how to strategically position our party, APC, for future elections and also ensure the incubator chairman is relieved of his position. Also in attendance at the meeting is former Edo State Governor, Professor Osa Heme Osubo, Immediate Past Director General of Nigeria Maritime Safety Administration Agency, Dakuku Peterside, and Senator Ndomegba. <laughs> Others are former Minister of Niger Data Affairs, Useni Useni, Chairman of Edo State Chapter of the Party, Ansem Ojizwa. Senator Domingo Obende, Senator James Akman, Udo Idehe, and several others. Recall that the National Vice Chairman of the party, South South, in the person of Hilad Eta, had earlier called for a boycott of the meeting of the South South stakeholders, summoned by Governor Obaseke against his predecessor. The APC leader said the meeting was illegal because the governor lacked the power to initiate it. From the new development, there are insinuations in some quarters that the presence of the aforesaid APC big wings in South South stresses that Obaseke led faction of the of APC enjoy a better relationship with the presidency. A fit for telling the peril Oshomole faces in the party today. Meanwhile, some supporters of the party remove big board banners and posters bearing images of the Embato National Chairman Adams Oshomole at the National Secretariat in Abuja. The B board and banner disappear overnight from walls and strategic points around and inside the Secretariat. Only a B board bearing the image of President Muhammad Buhari was left standing at the National Secretariat of the party as at the time of this report. There was also indication that Oshomole and some of his loyalists will not be present at next Tuesday's National Executive Council meeting of the party. If you can also recall also that a Federal High Court sitting in Maitama Abuja on Thursday approved the controversial National Executive Committee <laughs> emergency session of the party scheduled for next week Tuesday. The court restrained National Working Committee member Lawyer Toshomole from obstructing the conduct of the meeting, which is expected to decide the fate of the embattled former Edo governor, Adams Oshomole. That is the news. That is the report of the meeting that was held yesterday that was organized by the governor himself of Edo State in the person of His Excellency, Sir Godwin Obaseke. He has been planning this for a long time now, and it has come to fruition. 
and is no longer in news, if you can recall very well, when Oshomole was ousted by the court that suspended him after his visit to the president, Buhari, when he came out, he addressed news conference that those behind his travail, his peril that he's suffering now, that is not the governor of Basike from Edo State, but a minister in in the Buhari's administration, and he, he, he pointed at Rotimi and Mechi, and after that, the River State reacted to the news by saying that Shomole should go and look for what is haunting him and stop accusing Rotimi and Mechi. Now, with this meeting that has been held, is no longer secret and is no longer big news. We, are, we now know those behind the Embato chairman and it's as if Oshomole is losing and losing every day. Just as the men of the security force that barricade, that besiege the APD National Secretariat, handed over the key of the Secretariat to the acting secretary, deputy secretary of the party, Gyadom. When it, 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 it was rumored that only those that were given a list presented to the police were aligned to the secretariat and so far we have not seen Oshomole's lawyer list and every day credit is being added to that he's not going to come back the president himself came out yesterday and said that he's in support of the emergency neck meeting that is scheduled for next week that he's going to be there and he have not said anything Oshomole and his cohort have been suspended to, to attend the meeting. And yesterday, the, the banner that bears Oshomole's picture in the sectoral disappeared, both inside and outside. Every day, we have been adding credential that Oshomole is not coming back anytime soon. And the battle keeps getting fiercer and fiercer, and things keep getting dimmer for him by the day. Don't forget, you can also share your thoughts and your opinion with us on this matter and many more by going to the comment section and sharing with us. Thank you and keep keeping informed with Awakes Network. Remain blessed.